everybody and welcome to this uh, short how-to video on JD Edwards uh, logic extensions and release 22. Uh, my name is Bud Shaw, Solution Architect with GSI. The uh, 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 impetus of today's uh, how-to video is to give you an introduction to logical extensions in, in JD Edwards release 22, tools 9.2.6. Um, uh, as I mentioned, um, my name is uh, Bud Shaw. Um, I'm a solution architect with GSI. I have over 30 years in solution consulting, uh, over 23 years working with JD Edwards, and I will be your presenter uh, today for this little how-to video. Uh, just a brief you know, safe harbor statement, give you uh, a few seconds to read this. Just a traditional, you know, statement uh, saying, you know, don't, you know, don't hold anything to, you know, legal uh, interpretation. Um, uh, who, are, who is GSI and why are we here? Uh, GSI is a full service of uh, primarily focusing on JD Edwards. We do have Oracle NetSuite, uh, a little bit of EBS, uh, Salesforce.com service now and other uh, applications, but by far JD Edwards is our primary impetus and we are a full service um, managed services, implementation partner, pre-seller, we're a premier uh, a platinum partner with, with Oracle. Uh, so any of your JD Edwards needs, including 24 hour global support, security, anything you may need, uh, uh, we're available to help you. So in release 22, uh, JD Edwards 9.2.6, as I mentioned, uh, they uh, are now enhancing the orchestrator, uh, allowing you to create uh, additional orchestrations from logical extensions and or add those to orchestrations as a low code, no code approach to help you and your users, you know, optimize productivity and do transforming of your business process, digital processes with, with low code, uh, really just using online screen. You don't need to, these are, are user defined objects in JD Edwards that are deployed without a fat client package build or anything else like this, that like that. And it really uh, enables you to you know, use JD Edwards, sim, you know, syntax, you know, of, of um, you know, querying tables and fields and aliases and um, uh, building these logical extensions, uh, continuing, you know, on the glass, uh, continuing to reduce the dependency on the development client. I think this is the, the future for JD Edwards is to, you know, go away from the development client um, and do um, more and more uh, applications with this module, this area in uh, orchestrations, you can define, you know, uh, calculations and, you know, uh, if else statements and other things like that to allow you to perform logical operations. Um, and as you see here in the, the PowerPoint on the bottom, it says you can do uh, arithmetic, arithmetic uh, calculations, table IO, string manipulations, all kinds of things. And just gonna give you a brief introduction into this today. So the entry point to logical extensions is in the orchestrator studio. You will see a few new uh, icons on the uh, home, the Orchestrator Studio home, including logical extensions, workflow, attachments, uh, and today we're going to focus in on just uh, those uh, logical extensions. So here I am in my uh, demo environment, 922. I have several of these going now uh, with GSI. Uh, and this is uh, the logical, uh, where I'm going to go into and enter into logical extensions. This is the entry point that I just showed you. So you'll go into logical extensions. You can see the ones that are out there. And we'll go in and create a new logical extension. Uh, we're just going to name it the, you know, how to demo. And you'll see on the left hand side here are your primary statement palettes. Well, actually there's a, you know, a, a primary statement, <coughs> excuse me, 
uh, primary statement parlance of data structures of your uh, variables that you may define. And then the real meat of where you build is the logical, this diagram, and then a test icon on the bottom. Um, and depending on when you select and what you pick here, different things will happen. So as you start building your, your, your logical extensions, you'll start with a data structure and then add. Um, and you'll do things like add variables, add data fields that you may want to use. So I'm gonna start by, and as I mentioned, you know, in the, in the site, you can use stuff that you're familiar with. So I know I wanna have integer inputs into my uh, logical extensions. So I'm just gonna use INT1. That's a very common uh, alias in JD Edwards, right? Uh, and we can add that in. We'll rename it uh, in, in, in it so we have a little more, you know, what we're familiar with you working with. I'm gonna have, this is my variable in N1. Um, I'm going to have it is left as numeric and it's input only, right? Uh, we can start by then copying that, um, duplicate it as a data structure, for example, right? Um, and create another one called N2, right? Uh, in it, right? Notice it's giving you a little warning until you change that. So I've got two input variables, N1 and N2, right? Uh, um, and then... Uh, we're gonna, what I might wanna do is also create a, a variable out of one of these. So I might wanna do add N1, N2, and come with an output of N3, right? So we can duplicate that as a variable and then go look back at our variables and you can see it in here. We'll give it a, a name so we can make a difference. Uh, it's a, a, a input of output variable N, uh, N3. We can go back to our data structures and now we can add some more uh, 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 fields that we're gonna use in our, in our Lex. Uh, and we'll add a, um, let's just say, I don't know what I want to do, but I want to add a string, right? Um, and I'm gonna string for, uh, look for AB address book name, because I know that's, that's one that may be, um, you know, a good string to use in it or one that I'm going to use. Maybe I'm going to uh, plan on using the, um, plan on using the uh, variable and do a query against the database and come up with the address book name or something like that. So we're going to pick that uh, address book name. Uh, we're going to make it a, a, a string. Uh, we, first, we're going to make these required because I want to have them as input. And this one, we're going to make it as output, right? And on the output, uh, we can give it a name or, or leave it the, the, where, uh, the, way, the way I've got defined here. Um, uh, so the name input. Uh, do, do, do. Let's let's call it. You know, we just call it name, right? So now I've got you know, and you can if you're defining these and you don't have them correctly, you can rename them um, uh, uh, and drag them and and drop and move them around. So we now have uh, n one and two. Uh, we have uh, N3 is an output variable. Uh, we can create a, another variable for, um, and call it and maybe use it for a calculation within in that by, by uh, renaming things. Um, and maybe let's do this and we're going to call this uh, duplicate as a data structure and we're going to call this N4, you know, okay. And this will be another output uh, only variable. And so, so we can drag and drop and move these things around as I mentioned. So now you have some variables ready for your, 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 your logical extension. And then you can start building the logical extension in the diagram mode. So once you start going into uh, the diagram, you notice you'll see different things. You have assignment blocks, which is where you assign uh, and do calculations. You can have if else statement, while statements, so you can do loops, you can do table IO and then error, error handle 
um, as you may need to, to do it. So what there's multiple ways to do it. You can drag and drop. So I'm uh, doing an assignment block in here. Uh, we can drag and or we can then uh, click on here and we can do logical if else you know statements. Um, we can do you know maybe add a new and have a three level. We uh, if else if you know if n one is less than n two do this if n one is equal to n two do that and then if n one is greater than n two do the third uh, and maybe while we're in here we can maybe want to do a table I O so that if my two inputs are the same I want to go and do a, a table I O read right uh, we can go back and delete all of these and come back to, to the basics in here, right? Uh, so that's the way you work it. This, this little icon up here is you use to move around or if you get a complex uh, logical extension diagram to make it easier to see. So uh, now in here we can, you know, do, a, a, we can rename this and we call this, you know, we just say, um, you know, assign, uh, let's just call this test uh, demo, right? And um, uh, this assignment, you know, adds and displays, right? Whatever we're going to call this, what we're going to do in here, right? So now that is just the, the labeling for it. When you're really editing the assignment block, you're going to use this little pencil in here. And this is where we're going to start um, editing. So we're going to say uh, into N4, I'm going to uh, uh, input and maybe once you'll notice, once you start picking, since this is numeric, different uh, operations come along here. In this case, we're going to do an expression and do a calculation and we're going to add, you know, and we're going to say N1 plus N2. Okay. Uh, so that's how you start working with them. Then in your uh, third one, we can pull our variable. Right. I don't want to let's go back to the um, to the to the to this guy here um, and we're going to do uh, address book name is a string. And uh, what we'll do in here is then we're going to do a an expression uh, but since this is a string different things will happen in here uh, and we can go into our data instruction. We can say we're going to concatenate. Um, and maybe just put a, a fixed variable in here, a literal, you know, and just say, you know, hello, I am, right? And from then here, we're going to pull up and add a system literal, right? Uh, and pull who the user ID is. So hello, who, who am I, right? So this is the way you build these as you start doing it's real time saving and updating them. Uh, and we can do a little quick test of, of this of this little X, right? And we can say N1 equal two, and then we can do a run of the test. And notice it's adding the two together because we said uh, N1 is N4 comes out at three. And hello, I am JDE. Uh, you could fix this and do a nested concatenate uh, within within the um, within the uh, 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 within that that uh, express expression builder uh, back in the diagram. Uh, once you have your lex built, and what I'm going to do is now jump ahead to one where I've uh, done a more complete uh, 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 building of it and show you uh, some more uh, of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and bounce out of that. And here's a logical extension of that, you know, how to demo scenario. Uh, and so this is what I've got in here. This is our initial hello, I am with the adding the test. Uh, we then say uh, we've got an if else in here. If we click on this, you can see Branch one is if N1 is less than N2, right? Here's my uh, my branch one, right? Else N1 equals N2, I'm going to do this, right? And else branch three, N2 is greater than N1, I'm going to do this. So if N1 is going to, is greater than 
and two, right? Or um, we're going to. Oh, I'm sorry. This should be this. Should, this edit. We should fix this little branch label. N one is less than N two. Right? Then uh, we're going to add them up. I've actually got a little while statement in here that says while uh, my variable is less than N two, we're going to do an, a looping add things up. Uh, in this uh, branch, we're going to say if n1 is equal to n2, then we're going to fetch uh, the name from the fetch the name from the fo101, the address book uh, table. Uh, you can do different statements in here: fetch single, fetch multiple, uh, rewrite, delete. Um, you can do to go to tables and views. You can define which index you want. I'm using a simple address number index uh, within it. And then, uh, and so that's my, my second, if the two variables are equal. And the third variable, if, if N2 is greater than N1, uh, we're going to calculate a difference. So it's very simple, just says if N, um, my N3 is less than N1 minus N2. So as we test this uh, Lex, right, to make sure it's good, we can do N1, N2, we can test, comes out with three, right? If we do uh, 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 two, let's, let's go with four and two and test, we're calculating and coming out with, with two, right? Uh, we can uh, test the loop through in here. And if I test and say uh, my input variable uh, N1, and N2 are the same. Remember that was our uh, uh, database IO. We're going to the FO101 uh, uh, table uh, and retrieving the name. And we can get into the details of, of all of this. Once you have your Lex, you can easily create an orchestration out of it. Uh, use that orchestration and or this Lex as part of an orchestration and build very, very useful, complex uh, 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 logical uh, extensions and orchestrations using this in uh, common logic. Right? As I mentioned here, you know, these are UDOs, so they just are subject to uh, the UDOs, user-defined object UDO security. Um, and it's easy to copy, uh, export, import, and, 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 and work these files around. So um, that is really just wanted to give you a brief introduction. Into the logical extensions. Uh, I encourage you to reach out. Uh, I've had my email up there, bud.shaw at getgsi.com. I also encourage you uh, to go to the GSI website uh, and look underneath uh, JD Edwards resources uh, and our conferences and events. We have hands-on virtual and in-person workshops that we can give you hands-on access to logical extensions and uh, ed walk you through a training session on and workshop and building a, a logical extension similar to the one I just showed you, but uh, more uh, more robust in nature and more useful to you um, as an example. So I encourage you to go out. Uh, we also I also have other videos and recordings of it, but um, come come out here, look at the virtual workshops. Um, there are also some um, on site. We've got some coming up in Houston and Atlanta. Um, so I encourage you to uh, come out to the website, register and attend and get uh, some free uh, training and uh, exercises uh, with logical extensions. Thank you and uh, uh, I appreciate your attending and hope you have a great day.